माई डियर चाइल्ड योर एंजल्स आर सेंग टू यू टूडे आफ्टर द चेंजिंग सीजन ऑफ योर लाइफ देयर इज नो नीड टू फियर फॉर योर लाइफ विच इज सिंपली इवॉल्विंग इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द विल ऑफ नेचर एंड द डिवाइन विल ऑफ योर सोल Trust in life's flow and know that the universe is a loving and benevolent force like nature your life is a continuous cycle of change Every season though different holds its own particular beauty Each season has its challenges and blessings its good and sad times this is simply the way of life and at a times we may be required to let something go all exist eternally within our heart and our heart which is our true essence it's immortal and eternal life is a continuous cycle of change that unfolds there is nothing you need to do except trust and know that all is unfolding through love and for your highest good type triple 2 if you have trust in angels my child know that to attract everything that is good for your soul and you first got to know your worth when you see yourself worthy of all the love and affection you truly want you never settle for less when we give others the permission to decide our worth we get into toxic relationships everything that we attract reflects the lack of self love within us the root of all this is the conditioning we received as a child and the system of reward and punishment creates a belief in us that we are not worthy as we are to become worthy we have to impress others and seek validation you have to end this toxic cycle by validating yourself and knowing your worth even at your roast you are worthy of everything because in the eyes of the universe you are perfect as you are you are home type 11 11 if you have faith in angels as we walk through life it's easy to get caught up in what we see happening around us the ups and downs the new personal struggles sometimes it can feel overwhelming but this verse from proverbs reminds us of something powerful There is a lasting joy that belongs to those who live for God. The hope of the righteous will be gladness. What does that mean? It means that when we put our trust in God, when we follow his ways, there is a very deep joy that can't be shaken by the troubles of the world. that pain is not just a moment of happiness when things go well it's a steady goodness rooted in the hope we have in jesus this hope is more than a feeling it's a confident expectation that god will do what he has promised now let's be real
Life can throw us some hard situations, loss, disappointment, stress, but the beautiful thing about walking with God is that his joy does not depend on circumstances. It does not mean we will never face tough times, but it means that even in those moments we have something to hold on to. We have the promise of his presence, his peace and ultimately eternal life with him. That is where our hope lies. On the other hand, the expectations of the wicked will perish. Those who live without God may put their hope in things like money, success, or temporary pleasures. But proverbs tell us that these expectations will eventually fail. So they may seem fulfilling for a time, but they don't last. Only what is built on God's promise will stand the test of time. So today I encourage you to reflect on where your hope is anchored. Are you trusting in the fleeting things of this world? Or is your home set on the unshakable foundation of God's word? If you have been feeling weighted down, remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Take a moment to pray to thank God for the hope you have in Him and to ask Him to fill your heart with His gladness. My child, know that. It's now time to kick back, unwind and have some fun. You have gotten through the working week. Now it's the time to let your hair down and enjoy yourself. This weekend, the universe encourages you to make an extra effort to pick up the phone and make some plan, visit friends and family, go out for dinner or go see a movie, keep responsibilities to the essentials, only do what is quick and necessary. Enjoying yourself guilt-free is now the priority. Detach yourself from the stress of mundane routines and soak up the joy and happiness that this is weekend will bring. Surround yourself with people who help bring out your fun and adventurous side. This will help you forget your worries and woes for a while so you can enjoy all that you do. You and your happiness are the priorities this weekend. So don't waste any time. If you are working this weekend, don't worry. Your reward will soon come. Type 1111. Your angels want you to pray this. Dear God, on today, I choose to focus on the things that I have already instituted of the thing I want. Life is great exactly where I am and if I don't actually feel that way, I must learn to find the beauty in where I stand today. So Lord, open my eyes to see you in my current situation. Help me to find love in where I am. I am no longer worried about who is not showing up for me. But more so expressing love to those that are here right now. Where I am is enough and as I elevate, so will my surroundings. So today Lord, I choose not to be stagnant but to allow you to flow through my life. You guide me to where you want me to be. I 
I release control and I flow with your spirit. I release control and I flow with your spirit. I release control and I flow with your spirit. Thank you Lord for everything and I love you forever and always. My child know that the hurt you endure is never solely your own and the joy you experience is shared by many. Wherever we go, we make incremental and sometimes monumental energetic impacts on those around us. So affecting each other's mood is an unconscious human experience that shows just how important and powerful our energy can be. Each of us has an emotional ecosystem within us and through our interactions we share our inner landscape with one another. Some people will plant weeds that suffocate the crops of positivity you have been nurturing. Others will bring their own sunshine and rain helping your garden grow to understand the emotional impact you have on others. It's important to reflect on how you feel about life, what are the dominant emotions you hold on to. Do you feel like a victim of your circumstances or an empowered free agent? Are you stuck in grief and fear? Negative emotions are healthy responses that help us navigate what is helpful or harmful to us while revealing which part of us need more love. However, if held on to far too long, they can become significant blocks that prevent us from healing and returning to our wholeness. Trapped emotions often have a lot to do with how someone else has projected their pain onto you. Letting that go can be done by becoming hyper aware of all the well-intentioned people you cross path with Take in the light from another kind heart and let it reflect onto others like a kaleidoscope. Allow the reflective luster of love to light up the shadow in your heart and others. We can make a significant difference in each other's emotional well-being by first making a difference in our own. Be committed to your healing journey not just for yourself but for everyone around you type yes if you have faith and trust in god